Hello friends, so welcome back. Today I'm going to make a hummingbird cake. Usually when I make this cake, I make it into cupcakes and most of the time it's for a tea party. Um, I usually fill them and I don't do it if I do it in a cake, but if I make cupcakes, I fill them with either a coconut cream or banana cream and I frost it with uh, coconut buttercream or a cream cheese frosting would be great too. Um, this also makes a really good southern style cake that like a poke cake so yeah if you guys want either one of those other recipes let me know I'd be happy to show you so to get started I just prepare my pans and I start with one and a half cups of flour one cup of sugar half a teaspoon of baking soda one teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of cinnamon now you can up that cinnamon to a full teaspoon if you like cinnamon so i just combine everything till it's well blended and then i'm going to add a half a cup of butter and one teaspoon of vanilla and two eggs and I'm also going to add one eight ounce can of crushed pineapple, which is one cup. And I'm just going to give it a quick mix. And then I'm going to add one banana and it's a, a good size banana and a really ripe one would be best. Um, this is what I had. So I use a pastry cutter to kind of break that banana up. Or you could use a fork too, just to break it up or put it in a mixer. I have a mixer. I don't know why I'm not using it. Um, but I'm gonna also going to add half a cup of chopped walnuts, that's optional, and I'm going to add half a cup of coconut. So now I'm going to mix everything up till it's blended, and then I'm going to split this batter into two of my cake pans. Okay, so like I said before, I usually do this recipe in cupcakes and fill them um, for tea parties, it's like such a decadent dessert that, I don't know, for tea parties you want something special. And this is definitely one of those recipes that makes it feel like you're eating something special. So anyway, I tap out all the air bubbles and throw them in the oven, a 350 oven for about 25 minutes or so. And then while they're baking, I'm gonna make a buttercream frosting and I use one cup of shortening, half a cup of butter, and one teaspoon of coconut extract, and about four cups of powdered sugar. I say about, it just depends on the consistency you like, and I mix that up, and I do add a little bit of coconut into the buttercream. Okay, time to frost my cakes. So I put the first cake down, upside down, and put some buttercream on there, spread it out, and then top it with the second cake, right side up. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and frost this cake like I would any other cake. Um, it's just for me and my husband at home. So like I said, I'm just gonna frost it normal. This is a very pretty cake to uh, frost in like a, a naked cake fashion where it's just the frosting on the very top. I go ahead and coat all of the frosting on the sides and the top with coconut and just for a little bit of decoration on top and it also lets anyone else know that there are nuts in the cake, I put a few walnuts on top. Okay guys, here it is. Um, like I said, if you'd like to see this recipe in a cupcake form, how I fill them and decorate them for a tea party, do let me know. Um, yeah, so anyway, you guys have a great day. And I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.